Welcome back guys. Today I'll be doing part 2 of July 2021 question. Let's get started. So I'm doing question 10 part C which is a vectors question. I've done the first part which is matrices. You can revisit that video. Let's look at this question. The diagram below shows triangle OAB so this is OAB, which OAs are, so all of this is R. OB is S, so all of this is S. In addition, E is a midpoint of CD. So E is a midpoint of this line. And we also have OC is three quarter of OA. So OC is three quarter of OA. So that means this line is three quarter R. So OC is three quarter R. And then AD is two thirds of AB. So I'm going to use that shortly where AD is two thirds of AB. So this question is asked into writing terms of R and S. In the simplest form, an expression for CD and OE. So let's start with CD. Now, for us to find out what is CD, we need AD. And AD relies on AB. So first, I have to find what is AB before I can establish what is AD. Now, CA is a quarter R since it was stated that OC is 3 quarter of OA, so we'll have 3 quarter R. Because OC is 3 quarter R, then it means CA will be a quarter R. Because 3 quarter plus a quarter gives us a whole. So that means if I have OC being 3 quarter R, then the remaining will be a quarter R. So it add to give me R. And we're going to need CA. Now, the question is expressed in terms of R and S, the line CD. To do that, I need AD, and in order to get AD, I need to find AB. So to find AB, I will use the information where it's like I'm moving from point A to point B, so I can go the longer route. So I need to do AB, but I can go the longer route, which is AB is equal to A, O, and then OB. So I have A, O plus OB. And that will give me AB. Now, A, O, remember we got O, A, which is R, right? But we want AO, so we change the direction, so it's minus R. And OB, we were given to be S. So it means AB is equal to minus R plus S. Now I can note what is AD. Because I have AB now. So to find CD, I need AD. AD is two-thirds of AB. I just found out what is AB. So I need to find two-thirds of AB, and that will be AD. So in other words, AD is equal to two-thirds of what I have here. So it's 2 over 3 minus R plus S and you can clear the brackets so I can rewrite this as AD is equal to two-thirds times minus R that's going to give me minus 2 over 3 R and two-thirds times S that will give me 
4 over 3 x. So that's AD. So to get CD, that's the direction. AD, we'll be moving from A to D. That's the direction for AB, we'll take the same direction. And CA is taking the same direction as OA. So to get CD, we have to have CA plus AD. And CA is a quarter R. And it's positive a quarter R because it's moving in the same direction as OA. And AD is minus 2 over 3R plus 2 over 3X. So same direction as AB, so that's why we haven't changed the sign. Now, we're going to add a quarter plus minus 2 over 3. So we find the LCM of this is 12. Then we say 4 into 12 goes 3 times. 3 times 1, that's 3. Minus 3 into 12 goes 4 times. So 4 times 2, that's 8. So we'll have minus 5 over 12. So that means a quarter R minus 2 third R, because this will change to a minus. So minus 2 third R, that will give us negative 5 over 12 R plus 2 thirds S. And that's the answer for CD. Now I'm going to look at OE. Let's look at OE. Now OE, let's identify where is OE. So this is OE. Remember OE is at the center. And this is what we need to find in terms of R and S. Now finding OE, I am going to use the triangle. So OE is equal to, we have two sides that we are going to use. Let me just go ahead and make reference to what is CD. We'll need that. So let me go ahead and write CD. Because O is at the center, so it cuts this line into half. So the line CD is minus 5 over 12 R plus 2 over 3 X. Now, OE cuts this line into two halves, so it means that if I want CE, it will be a half of this line. So I will multiply this by a half, all of this by a half. So let me go and rewrite it. Now I am going to simplify this because you know you're fine, it's like you're finding half of the line. That's why we have to multiply by a half. So a half times minus 5 over 12, that's negative 5 over 24. And then I have my R. And a half times 4 over 3, the 2 is going to cancel. So I'll have 1 third S. So this is the line CE. So to find OE, OE is the same thing as OC. plus CE. So we know that OC is 3 quarter of OA. And CE will be what we have here. So it means OE is equal to OC, which is 3 quarter R, plus CE, which is what I have here, which is minus 5 over 24 R, plus a third S. So the R's are common, so it means I can simplify further. So I will have to add three quarter plus minus five over 24. 
let me go ahead and write three quarter plus which would change the minus for about 24 would change the plus to minus so find the LCM for 4 and 24 that will be 24 then I say 4 into 24 goes 6 times so 6 times 3 that's 18 have my subtraction sign 24 into itself goes 1 times so 1 times 5 is 5 18 minus 5 that's 13 over 24 so it means 3 quarter r minus 5 over 24 is 13 over 24 plus 1 third s and that's it this is the answer for oe the point o q and r have coordinates 0 0 5 2 so this is negative 1 4 so this is 5 2 here we're going to have negative 1 and 4 and the next one is 0 0 now this is write OR as a column vector so OR will be just negative 1 4 as a column so negative 1 and 4 that's it the next question asks to determine the length of QR so it means first I need to find out what is QR to find QR using the triangle I will have to find out what is QO plus OR now qo we have changed the direction because we have o q to be 5 2 so qo is minus 5 minus 2 or remains the same so that's minus 1 and 4 so adding this minus 5 or minus 1 that's minus 6 minus 2 plus 4 that's 2 so this is qr so to find the length of it now so we have to find the length of this QR vector. So it's going to be the square root of negative 6 square plus 2 square. Square and the negative become positive. So I have 36 plus 4. So that is root 40 units. So the length is square root of 40 units. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have more questions, leave it in the comment section below. Have a great day.